Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Sammy here with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be planning the week of August 22nd through the 28th in my Erin Condren Life Planner. It's been a minute since I have filmed a plan with me or just like any video for that matter. Um, the last few videos that I've had up on my channel or my how to plan series which was really fun to make i'll make sure to link at least the first video up in the cards but if i can link the whole playlist that'd be really cool um that will be linked but that is just all talking about different areas of planning and how to plan stickers how to choose your planner how to set up your planner just fun stuff like that um but i had all of those pre-filmed for um, the beginning of August because I knew my August was going to be really crazy and so I'm really glad that I did that because that has manifested itself. It's been really crazy. I just wanted to quickly show you this is how my August behind the scenes is going along and then memory keeping in my planner. A lot of stuff has happened. This is this week. I'm filming right here on this Saturday, so I need to update this, but I'll probably get that done on Sunday. And then, yeah, just what's been going on in my planner. A lot of fun things. And then this is this current week. I really like these colors. Super cute. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving this in blooms pattern, I guess you could say. And part of me wishes, part of me really wishes I would have gotten the in bloom planner. But then there's part of me that's like, no. Color blends is the way to go because you don't have flowers everywhere that you have to manage. And so I'm super glad that I still have the planner that I have. But anyway, let's jump in to this week. Um, this week is the first week of school, so we are using the Chrissy Ann Designs school kit that she came out with. Um, this is honestly versatile. She made it so you could do it for the first day of school, the last day of school, whenever your heart desires to acknowledge that there's school, I guess. Um, but I decided to use it for the first week and I am feeling all of the feelings. Um, that's part of the reason why I had that planning series go up when I did just because I, I knew I needed to focus on school and I wanted to get that last little bit of summer in with my daughter before I had to really think about school. Um, we went back teachers this week. Um, I went back on Tuesday to get my classroom all cleaned up and set up. And then we had our like annual nuts and bolts meeting and all of our trainings on Thursday. And then we worked again on Friday, which was yesterday. And so I am back to work. Like I am work now until May. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. But um, I'm really excited though for this year. There's a lot of changes at my school. Um, for starters, we did get new admin and that has been a whole thing. I'm not even lying. <clears throat> Just because um, we got new admin at the beginning at the end of last school year. They announced that at like the district meeting that they do. They announce all the new admins and any changes to admin because our principal, he was retiring. And so we got a new principal and we got a new vice principal and we met them and we were super excited for to work with them. Or well, at least I was. Um, and then we got an email a couple weeks ago saying that our principal has been moved to a district position. It was not her choice. She was just kind of 
they basically just told her that this is your new job. And so we're like, well, crap, who is going to be our principal? They did a week of interview, well, not a week of interviews, but a week of the position being open. So they could do interviews last week and they hired our new principal on Thursday and we met her yesterday. And from what I could tell from the staff, they were not thrilled because I guess this principal had worked there before. I don't know, <clears throat> but I am excited. I am just excited for change, I guess, um, to kind of see what could come of our school, new things. I don't know. I'm still fairly new, and so, like, last year is my first year teaching at the school that I'm at. And so, I really don't have any ways that have been set, if that makes sense. Like, some teachers are, like, set in their ways, and that is that. Where... I'm just like, yeah, I'll do whatever. And so, I don't know. But, I'm glad we have a principal. I was a little freaked out for a little bit when they were like, so you guys don't have a principal. And honestly, I really wanted our vice principal to just be bumped up to the principal position. But... That's not how things went. It's okay. We still have him as our vice principal. And so I'm just really excited for this year. Um, I'm not as nervous as I was last year. And that's probably because I know what I'm doing now. Last year I was really scared because I had never taught junior high before. I always told myself in college that I was going to be teaching high school and that's what I did for my first year is I taught juniors and seniors and I loved it but then this position presented itself I guess you could say and I don't know it was just kind of weird I was told by one of my mentors that I should do it and I went for it here I am I'm a junior high English teacher and I honestly do love it. It is a fun job. It's just really exhausting, but I feel like you can say that about any job, so it's fine. Okay. Now that I'm done rambling about school, I have my date covers on. And I pre-wrote everything basically for the spread just so I can get it set up a little bit quicker than normal. I'm trying to not take as long with my spreads, but I feel like whenever I'm on camera, I'm just like super nervous and I don't know. Where when I'm planning off camera, it's just super relaxing. And here I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Okay. By the way, this washi that I'm using is a washi tape on Aaron Condren's website. I can't remember what bundle it came in, but it's one of their new, like, grid washies. I thought it would look cute because it's, like, grid paper. And you would always use grid paper in school. So, there is that. I think I'm going to mark my routines now. And I just realized I'm probably going to need another marker. So I'll throw that one in there. Because there's a bunch of colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we're good. Okay. This is like traditional rainbow. And I'm really liking it. Okay, where do I want my routine to go? We'll do it right here. I feel like my routines have been going well this month, which is the first, but I feel like that's because I'm actually getting back into a routine and I have simplified my routines a lot. Um, I remember there was a time even before I had my daughter and things, 
could be a little bit more in depth or what you will with that. Um, I felt like I had to have like this very elaborate routine and it really wasn't serving me the way I wanted it to just because of what I saw on Instagram and YouTube and just everything I was like well I need to be reading all these books in the morning I need to be journaling I need to be exercising and it was more mostly my morning routine like all these like extra things until finally I was like you know what I don't have to do all these things to be productive and in fact me trying to do all these things are not making me productive they're stressing me out and so I sat down with my actually my simplified daily planner and I kind of thought about like what mattered the most to me when it comes to my routines. And right now, with a toddler, it's just getting out the door. Like, it's making sure that we are ready and prepared for our day. And that we can get out the door in time. Because there are those days where we can barely make it on time to anything. Because... When we're like, hey, it's time to go. Somehow my daughter has taken off her shoes and then she decides that she wants to pack her whole toy box with her. And then we have to negotiate with a one and a half year old. And she's pretty clever for someone her age. And so it's just, I don't know, it can be a lot. And so I've really just simplified it down to like saying my morning prayers because I feel like for me that is important getting up getting ready like doing my hair my makeup getting dressed that kind of stuff um I eat breakfast and I take all my medicine that I need to take in the morning and my vitamins and then I am trying to implement some sort of like not in-depth scripture study but just when I can listening to or reading a couple verses that's still in the works um but really it's just those things like getting up getting ready getting my daughter ready and leaving and I feel like it is rewarding because then I get to work on time I don't feel stressed and I'm just able to focus on what I need to do and then my PM routine um, it's fairly simple just because it kind of goes with my daughter's routine anyway. <coughs> I like to shower when she's playing with my husband and that way I can get myself taken care of and then I get her ready for bed and then we do her bedtime routine and then when she's asleep, um, my husband and I, we either spend time together or there some nights we're like, you know what? He wants to play video games and I want to read or play my planner or just honestly go to sleep. And that's what we do. And I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot more rewarding to do those things that matter to you and not what other people do on the internet. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now that we have that all mapped out, let's go ahead and actually put stuff down in this planner. So, on Monday, my daughter starts daycare again. I have to drop her off. That's why I wrote it down. Um, my husband normally takes her to daycare on his way to work because his way to work is in the same direction as our daycare facility. Um, but that day we decided to switch because then I normally pick her up. Um, because my husband typically doesn't get off work in time to pick her up, if that makes sense. So it's just easier for me to pick her up. Um, but I have back to school night on Monday. Yay. And so I told my husband that I will take her 
because I will not be able to pick her up because I'm going to be at the school 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Monday, which I felt like was a fair trade-off, and he's like, hey, that's fine. I'll just need you to take her so I can get to work a little earlier so I can pick her up. And I was like, you got it, dude. <laughs> so that's what we're going to stay right here. And the past couple weeks, I've done like a top three thing. And I don't know if I'm really going to do that this week because I feel like this week with it being the first week of school is going to be very survival mode-esque. Like I'll have a to-do list in my daily planner, but I think I'm just going to map out what my week is going to look like this week in this planner. And then if I want to add memories, I'll have the room, but I just don't want to have all these to-dos stressing me out because I don't have time for that, honestly. And then Tuesday is the first day of school. And the whole week is short days, which is kind of a good thing. It's kind of weird, but maybe I'll appreciate it more after Tuesday. And I'm like, cool, it's 12 and these kids are gone. Um, but I have to stay until contract time is over. So I still work till 3. Um, we're going to keep that fairly simple. We will put little school Steve right here. What a cutie. Maybe. Come on. And then normally I write out like work every day. I'm not doing that this week either. I'm just trying to keep it very simple. I have to kind of find my groove again in filling out my planner when I am a teacher. It is trash day on Wednesday, so we'll put that little guy there. And then, once again, little cute little deco box. And then on, not Tuesday, Wednesday, I have the Patreon plan with Lakin goals setting session at five. So I'll put that there. Thursday. I don't have anything on Thursday. I'll just set this. We'll just keep them matching up. Maybe I should write work. I think I'm going to, just to kind of have something up there, because I am working. That's what I'm doing. Okay. We'll do that there. And then I'm gonna hurry and go in. Do, 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 do. I don't have every color though. That's the problem. I'll just use these, I think. I won't worry about Tuesday. But I'll do Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I don't really like those decals on the side, so I will snip those off. Kind of a sloppy job, but it's fine. So that's why it's not there on Wednesday. Okay, and then 
Friday, and then we have survived the first day of the week. Okay. And then we will... Oh man, I wish this back to school was the Tuesday one. Cause then I could do a cute little teacher, teacher picture there. Oh well, I'll just put it here. Maybe I'll put another little teacher picture from Friday there in my memory planner. Okay, oops, 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 oops. Okay, um... Saturday, my husband is going to a LAN party. I don't know necessarily what that is. I just know his friends and him are playing video games. And so, I'm writing that down so I don't forget. And then church is at 9 a.m. And then we'll put this little guy. He's so cute. Okay. I really like this. It's super simple this week. Um, I might add more to it as the week goes on, but for right now, I just want to keep it super simple. I don't want to stress myself out, honestly, but I will hurry. I wanted to put in mills for the week. I haven't been the best at mills lately. these in with my mild liners. I love mild liners, guys. They're probably, other than stickers, the most used planner item in my planner. Okay. I'm also gonna cut down my habits for the week. So, Mills, Monday is leftovers, Tuesday we will have taco salad, Wednesday BLTs, Thursday I'm going to pick something up from Sam's Club. I'm just gonna write Sam's Club because I don't know what that is. And then Friday, pizza because I'm going to be exhausted from the first week of school. Saturday, my husband will be out with his friends. So I'm just gonna write out again. Because so I just might pick something up for my daughter and I. And then Sunday, I don't know what we're having yet because I need to go grocery shopping on Saturday anyway. And so to be determined there for habits. I just need to do seven dots for each of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. that and then lastly this week's almost done I 
do have to do's listed. I'm not gonna write them down though. Nope. I've already told myself no. They will go on my daily planner and we'll get there when we get there. I'm gonna add some of this Erin Condren teacher washi. I just think it's super cute and kind of fun. They also have a rainbow one, but that one really didn't match. But the other day I was thinking that I need to start pairing my sticker kits that I'm using each week with more washi just because I have a crap ton of it and I don't really use it. And so, but I love it. It's super fun to use. I just always forget and then I'm like, oh yeah, I have all this fun washi that I never use. So there is that. And we are done. I really like how it turned out. Very simple. Just what I need for the first week back to work and to school. All those things. Um, let me know in the comments below when do you start school. If you're a teacher or if you have kids in school. When do your kids go back to school. Let me know that in the comments um, below. And make sure that you like this video and if you are new here that you hit subscribe i will keep you updated on how the first week of school went next week when we jump into another plan with me and until next time guys i will see you all later bye